All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchak, I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and the peace and blessing, Shalom, to the Most High is hopefully lit. So, Brother Yagadah Lamar from GMS Houston, and I'm back with another lesson, and uh, I kind of want to uh, just get straight into this, man. Very simple topic, man. Just getting into the fact that this devil, okay, Esau Edom, thinks that he's going to be able to reign and rule forever, man, but that's not according to the scriptures, man. He's tried to set in place his Balfour uh, Declaration and so-called fulfill the prophecy of, uh, of of the Jews, okay, not even covering all of the tribes returning back to Israel, man, okay? On top of them, they're trying to set up uh, and decide when they want to build uh, the third temple, which is they're out of their mind. The third temple is being built spiritually, and you have no building, no dealings with this, man, okay? You can you can sit up there and erect whatever building you want, but the third temple is being built spiritually by the men of the Lord, which are the bricks and the mortar uh, is the truth, man. Okay, and that that that's how the third temple is gonna be built, man. Not by you uh you uh, heathens uh coming up with a, a a date and time when the third temple should be built, man. Okay, the prophecy is gonna be filled according to uh, the, the scriptures, man. Okay. And there's nothing you devils can do that can prolong or stop any of the judgment that's coming unto you, man. You will not uh, uh, keep your kingdom going on forever. You will not uh, have one second longer than the time that the Most High have allotted for you to rule, man. Okay? So, uh, as always, Lord willing, there's some edification in this video. I want to um, get straight to the Esau's mind frame, man, and mainly the elites. And really, even on a low level, these low-level crackers out here in this society, they even themselves think that this way of life and them being superior in the earth and having this so-called white privilege is going to be something that's going to be established and, and, and continue on forever, man. But that's not so, man. All right? But real quick, this is the book of Psalm, chapter 49 and 11. It says, Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. So who could this be talking about, man? All right, this is talking about Esau Edom. This is the spirit that's in him, man. Okay? Now, you go throughout the earth and you think of certain ma uh, major cities, man, uh, uh, and countries. America itself, okay, named after an Edomite, man. All right, uh, uh, Alexandria, Egypt, man. It's just a couple examples of, um, of this devil. Okay, naming lands after himself. Why? To uh, because he thinks that he's gonna be able to reign forever, man. So he wants to set his place in history, man. Okay. All right. So when their uh, 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 so-called their rulership continues on, they'll have their name in history, man. Okay. That's a a, a way of them uh, a way that proves that they think that they're gonna reign forever, man. All right. Them erecting all these statues and trying to commemorate themselves throughout history, man. Okay, but what do they commit? They regardless of what they uh uh portray as their legacy on this earth, all they did was commit uh, wickedness, man. Okay, you going to all these founding fathers and all these so-called great Edomite men of uh, in American history, and they was all uh, devils, man. Okay, I'm gonna grab a quick preset, man, because this devil doesn't realize that he was set in place for a certain amount of time, and that's it, man. Okay, for a certain period of time to fulfill the will of the Heavenly Father that he designated for Esau, man. Okay, so this is Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all, man. All right, and this devil then had his time and his chance to rule, man. And he did perfectly what he was supposed to do. Fuck up the earth and rule in wickedness, man. Okay, now it's time for his judgment, man. Okay, you wasn't set to rule and uh, uh, continue on your kingdom forever, man. All right, you were set to come into power, okay, and do what? Be destroyed eventually because of what you was going to do while you were in power, man. Okay. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes, just to go with that scripture in the same book. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 17. It says, I said in mine heart, Yahweh shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is, is t there is a time there for every purpose and for every work, man. 
Okay, so every uh, 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 there's a time allotted for every person, purpose, and every work, man. Okay, now this de these devils were set to come in the rulership. Okay, as uh, uh, the same way that the Most High set up the uh, uh, Egypt, man. Okay, the Pharaoh in Egypt, man. Okay, to raise them up, and this time he raised up the bases of men according to the scriptures, man. Okay, and did what? Gave him complete dominance in the earth, man. Okay, and had everybody under the uh, the the uh, spell of this man was uh, set to rule forever, man. And he's this is the way of life that his structure, the system that he's built is the way that's gonna stand forever, man. Okay, and even if they have the mindset of another nation. Uh, taking in uh coming in the rulership they still will be going by uh, the the uh, the rules and regulations and the system set up by this devil man okay but this devil really thinks that he's fulfilled prophecy and he set forth his Belfort declaration he didn't say that said this and this and that about uh certain prophecies that be fulfilled uh have been fulfilled and it's all bullshit man okay and uh, Lord willing, in a second, I'm going to get into some of the things uh, uh, that should be in place or, and some of the things that shouldn't be in place if uh, uh, the true Jews have returned home and prophecy have been fulfilled, man. There's so many uh, uh, prophecies that are yet to happen showing you that this is not the kingdom that's set to last forever, man. Okay? So real quick, because I had mentioned it, that this uh, the Most High set Esau up as the same way he set up uh, the Pharaoh of Egypt, man. Okay, so this is Romans chapter 9 and verse 17. It says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth, man. So that's the reason you are in the position you are in, not because you got this on your own. Okay, the most I put you in place to be in the position you're in. You did not attain this on your own. He gave you the blessing of the sword, knowing that that's the way you would conquer, man. That's the way you would uh, 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 gain control of the earth, man. He gave you a certain level of knowledge and wisdom, okay, to be able to be a devil, okay, using witchcraft, all right, on the left-hand side, which you operate through Satan, and Satan is the top employee of the Heavenly Father, okay, and he's getting ready to turn his back on you, so to speak, man, okay? He's going to wipe his hands and say, you know what, I did my job with you, buddy. All right, now, now stand on, on, on your enchantments. See how much power you have when the Most High uh, uh, tells Satan to fall back, man. Okay? But just as the Most High rose up Egypt, okay, and hardened uh, Pharaoh's heart and did all the things that he'd done to Pharaoh, he's doing it uh, to you now, but it's going to be magnified on a whole nother scale because this is the end uh, before the kingdom of heaven is established, man. Okay? This is going to be the big show. This is going to top everything that happened before uh uh uh, uh concerning the israelites because concerning esau Edom, man this is the big finale man okay and matter of fact just to back that up come on, this is uh jeremiah chapter 16 and i'm gonna start at 14 it says therefore behold the days come saith the lord that it shall no more be said the lord live it that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, man, because that story of us coming out of captivity under the, Egypt, uh, the Egyptian empire is spoken out throughout the earth, man. There's major movies and every nation knows about that account, man. That account itself brought fear of the most high to the nations, man. All right, and, and to this very day, that account is always spoken of. Everybody knows about it, even though uh, the images have been whitewashed, okay? All right through uh esau's iconoclasm and his bs uh tbn system and all the madness uh and lies that he put out on who the true identity of those people which are the negroes latinos and native americans okay but every nation knows about that man now it's coming on a time that something's going to replace that and this is a future prophecy which is going to replace that deliverance man okay and we're approaching that time very soon Okay, so this is verse 15. It says, But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers, man. Okay, so this is the Balfour Declaration is not fulfillment of this scripture, man. Okay, because that means it had to be a great deliverance that would top the deliverance out of Egypt, man, which was not a small thing, man. Okay. 
They didn't just run across some little small river and get to the other side and oh, then the Pharaoh's army drowned and that was it, man. No, that was a great deliverance and a great destruction of the known empire uh, that stood at the time, man. Okay, so going back to Romans uh, 9 and 17, it says, For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee. Okay, so the Most High is doing this to establish his power, man. Okay, because once this devil is taken down, it will, no credit will be given to anything but the one true living power was able to do this, man. Okay, this man has a blessing of the sword on the carnal sense, but the weapons that the Most High is sending his son back, okay, the glory, the spiritual powers, the chariots, the laser beams is going to smash this devil's uh, uh, weapon technology, man. Okay, and Yahweh Shai is coming back to show his father's power, man. Okay, and that his father's name, as the scripture is going to say, well, let me read it first. It says, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Okay, so that's the whole purpose of why you were set in power, man. Okay, to be a whipping stick on us, man. All right, for us going against the uh, uh, the heavenly father and breaking his uh, uh, the uh, agreement that we made with him as a nation. Okay, you were set to be part of the curses, a major part of the curses that will come upon us, man. All right, for us be, uh, to, uh, uh, to be set, uh, put under the foot of our uh, enemies, man. Okay, but not forever. Not for us to be destroyed, not to, for us to be forsaken, man. Okay, for the Most High to establish, okay, I told y'all, I made an agreement with y'all, okay. I'm going to, as a major part of your curses and your judgment for this, I'm going to use uh, the basis of men, all right, to rule over you in complete wickedness, man, okay? But at the end, he's going to do what? As he did with Pharaoh, he's going to free us from our oppressor, man, okay? Why? Because you are not the vessel that he created uh, in righteousness. You are not the vessel that he created to rule in the earth forever, man, okay? And matter of fact, let me jump down to prove that point, man. In the same chapter, chapter, this is Romans 9 and 21, it says, Have not the potter power of the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, which is the Israelites, okay, being uh, the descendants of Jacob. As you read up in verse 13, it lets you know that Jacob have I love and Esau have I hated, man. That's the balance of the most high creation. These are the two stars in the movie, and you are the villain in this movie, okay? That's going to be taken down eventually, okay? It says, and another unto dishonor, which is you Edomites, man, okay? It says, what if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power? So it's explaining why he's doing this, man, to show his wrath and to establish his power, man, okay? And to make his power known and do it with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. So the Most High himself, he's suffering by watching his chosen uh, uh, um, uh, be de uh, under the foot of this devil, man. That's why I said with much long suffering, man. All right, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. So he designed you to be the vessel of dishonor, man. Okay. All right, fitted for destruction, man. And that destruction is yet to come, man. The Edomites are still in existence, man. Okay? No matter what these vocabs and uh, uh, any of these damn Christian nuts try to stay a state, man. Okay? Esau is alive and pumping, man. All right? But not for too much longer, man. His power is about to be stripped from him. Why? Because the scripture said it. He is the vessel uh, of wrath fitted for destruction, man. Okay? The Most High is not enjoying watching his, uh, his chosen... Uh, 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 people be oppressed by this devil, but this is what he wrote. This is the way he said it, and we 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 committed adultery on every level against the heavenly Father. So now he had to punish us, man. Okay. So I want to um, real quick. I want to jump over to um, the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty nine and verse eleven, because this devil. All right thinks that he's in, uh, in, in power, man, okay, and that he's doing his own will, that he's going to be able to, to stop Yahweh Shire when he returns, that's the whole point of him setting up a space force and all these things that he's doing, man, okay, but real quick, this is um, Isaiah 29 and Salakia 16, it says, surely the turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, going right back to the analogy of the potter, uh, the potter and the clay, man, Okay, it says, for shall, 
For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. And what do these devils try to put up? They try to put up, uh, uh, push the Big Bang Theory, man. Even though they know the Most High Power exists, they know Yahweh Shai exists, but they put all these goddamn uh, false understandings and uh, really theories uh, 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 to push people to atheism, man. Okay, but you think these devils really think that the Most High created them and you're going to be able to overpower him when he sent his son back in his full glory, man? Okay, that's why in the book of, uh, matter of fact, that's in uh, Jeremiah 50, if I'm correct. Matter of fact, I'll get it, just to be correct. Bear with me one second. Uh, if I get it, I'll come back to it. But uh, 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 the Most High, well, Yahweh Shai, uh was sitting in the book of Jeremiah. What did he say? That I will not meet thee as a man. Okay? So when he came back, okay, when he comes back, so like when he comes back, he's not going to meet you at, uh, in the same manner as before to where you will be able to, um, matter of fact, that's the spirit. I flip right to it, man. Uh, correction. Now, uh, it's Isaiah 47 and straight to the point, verse 3. All right. Um, well, matter of fact, I'll start from verse one, Isaiah 47 and one. It says, come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon. OK, so it's talking about America, man. It's not talking about ancient Babylon. It says sit uh, on the ground. There is no throne or daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. Going right back into this topic, man. OK, this is not the kingdom that's going to rule forever, man. Okay, it says, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will make vengeance, I will not meet thee as a man. Okay, so, so that's the most high, that's how he's ultimately going to establish his power when he sent his son back in those chariots, man. To show you that there's an existence on, on a whole nother level that you have, you can't even compare to, man. Okay? You won't prevail in any of your plans, man. The Most High is going to send his son back to be that, uh, to, 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 to break up all your uh, intentions for your new world order, man. And establish a new world order in righteousness under Yahweh while Yahweh shot. Okay? So back in Isaiah 29 and 16, it says, Surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed of the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that uh, that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? Okay, and the answer is, uh, uh, Yahweh forbid, man. Okay, this devil, you, you the Most High is allowing you, all right? He programmed you to do exactly what you're doing, man. Okay, you are right in the grasp of the Most High's control, and that's the way it's always going to be. Okay, so you can't, there's no way possible that you can be the everlasting kingdom that's set to come, man. Okay, because first of all, in order for that to be fulfilled, you would have to qualify for repentance. And uh, I'll get the scripture right now. That's not so, man. Okay, because you are Esau. Okay, you are the devil in, uh, that's reigning in the earth right now, man. Okay, and you show your soul your birthright, man. You gave that up, man. Okay, so uh, just to cover that point. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears, man. So you don't, it's no way that you could be the so-called Jews, man, because you can't, you're, you, the Most High has no place of repentance for you, man. Okay? So in order for the kingdom, uh, the, the everlasting kingdom, or you this to be the last kingdom, you would have to have qualified for repentance, and that's not so, man. Okay? You are the last kingdom that's going to be taken down by Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Along with the rest of the heathens that's in uh, uh, power, but you are the head one that's in control, man. Okay? So, uh, just um, real quick, this is Daniel chapter 2 and verse 44. It says, and in those days, uh, and you, uh, for, I know brothers are familiar with this, well familiar with this, man. But the, 
Mosiah already uh, listed off the kingdoms that will stand and fall before the everlasting kingdom, man. And we are in that last time, man. Okay, we are in the time of the, uh, um, as you read up in verse 42, the toes that were uh, part of iron and part of clay, man. All right, representing the EU, man. Having uh, financially stronger uh, uh, nations over weaker nations uh, versus the weaker nations uh, financially, man. Okay, so this is a Daniel 2 and 44. It says, and in, those, in the days of these kings set shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom, all right? And this is not the kingdom that the Most High has set up, okay? I'm uh, speaking on the kingdom of righteousness that's going to stand forever, okay? It says, which shall never be destroyed, man. Now, it's evident, okay, that this place is getting ready to be destroyed because all the nations are rising up against this place and getting ready to strike because they see this place is weak, man. It's time for this devil to go down, man. All right, the Mamalekites over here is claiming to be the true Jews. Everybody is ready to go at them as well, man, because they know they're in the ones that's operating and controlling everything, man. All right, that's manipulating the earth, who got everybody in debt, who's fucking up everything in the earth, man. Okay, it says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So if this was the everlasting kingdom, it wouldn't be no other nations in rulership. They'd all be in full tribute, and they wouldn't have no, no power or rulership, man. Okay, when the kingdom of heaven is established, all nations are going to be in complete subjection under the nation of Israel, man. Okay, it says, but it shall break in pieces and consume all kingdoms. That's not what's happening right now, man. Okay, they're not unstoppable, man. All right? You gutter rats are not unstoppable, man. You have enemies that want you, that want to go at your neck, man. Okay, America is not uh, unstoppable, man. This place is weak, it's decrepit, and it's falling, man. Okay, it says, and it shall stand forever, man. So you you want it to rule forever. You have it in your mind that you're gonna rule forever, but this is not the kingdom that's gonna rule forever, man. Okay, so you are sadly mistaken, Esau. And I want to grab one last scripture, man, just to make a point. Okay, because there's certain things that would have to be in play if this was the everlasting kingdom, man. Okay, and the second covenant would have uh, had to have been established already. Okay, so if if you got were the true Jews, then that means the Most High Law, Statutes, and Commandments would be uh, imprinted in you, man. Okay, and that's definitely not so. With you having Televib and all these other uh, abominable things, abominable things going on in the uh, in, in the land of Israel, man, which is our home that the Most High is getting ready to give us back, okay? As we read in um, in um, Jeremiah 16 and 15, all right? said, he will return us back into the land that he gave unto our fathers, man, okay? So uh, I just want to grab the scripture and hit this point. This is uh, Hebrews, all right, dealing with the second covenant. Uh, which has not been established yet, man, because that's for us, for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right? This is when, when the Most High is going to uh, 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 restore us, man, okay, and establish his kingdom, okay? So this is Hebrews 8, and I'll start at verse 10. It says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people and you obviously are not the people of the most high man okay the most high would not have his people cursed with leprosy man okay he would not have them natural born homosexuals man all right weak and the fucking uh, uh uh completely inferior on a physical level man okay verse 11 this is a key point man because y'all still have schools set up you still pushing judaism you still uh, uh, have synagogues set up. You still have uh, uh, pushing Christianity and all the bullshit that you uh, 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 claim to uh, uh, to be the top uh, religions and knowledge, man. Okay? But this is um, verse 11. Hebrews 8 and 11 says, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know him from the least to the greatest. Now, if y'all was uh, the so-called the true Jews, then all you, uh, you got a lot of uh, Jews that uh, uh, so-called Jews that pick other religions, man. 
all right? Then they're not uh, under your so-called religion, man. They're not under your way of life, man. They go astray, astray and go do their own thing, man. Okay, when the true people, all right, when the second covenant is established, all right, and the kingdom of heaven, the everlasting kingdom is established, man, the true Israelites, there will be no need to have any schools set up teaching uh, uh, them the, uh, uh, the scriptures, man, given the understanding, man, okay? So that you you ruled out on every level as the kingdom that's going to stand forever, man. You are soon to be destroyed, man. Okay? So I'm going to end it on that, man. Death to this devil. Okay? All right? And, and get ready for slavery, man. Okay? So with that, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who continue to rule well and guide us through the spirit, man. Peace and blessings, shalom to the most high's hopefully lack. We're almost out of here.